In this video, we'll look at time signature and grid settings and how to adjust them. What we're gonna look at is this button up here. So you see this little gear, click that, and this first column here is grid size. So currently I have it set to automatic grid size, which means basically whenever I zoom in and zoom out, it's gonna change the grid. And the grid are these vertical lines that you can see, they're very faint, but if you look closely, you can see these vertical lines. So as I zoom in and zoom out, it's going to add and remove those lines. Basically, if I zoom in, it's going to add more lines and, and I'm going to start seeing smaller and smaller subdivisions. But I don't want to see 30 second notes if I'm zoomed out this far because all I would see would be lines. That's kind of the great thing about having it be automatically adjusted is it makes sense for whatever zoom you're at currently. But you can also set those lines to always be an exact rhythm. Like I might want to say only ever show me eighth notes. So now, even if I zoom in further and further, I'm only ever gonna see eighth notes as these vertical lines. The grid will only ever be in eighth notes. And of course, I could change it to 16th notes, and then I would have more lines, et cetera, et cetera. So that's grid size. And that will primarily apply to the piano roll. This is where the grid is gonna be adjusted. You'll also see a grid up here in the arrangement window, but really when you're adjusting the grid size, you're focused on the piano roll. The next thing is the time signature. So if we scroll down here, we can see we have two options, 3-4 and 4-4. Four, four. Currently, those are the two time signatures that Soundtrap supports. So if I change it to 3-4, you'll notice all of my measures now only have three beats. And I can change it back. And that's as simple as that. The final option here is ruler, either in beats or time. Up on the very top of the arrangement view is the ruler. And right now you can see numbers, so one, two, three, four, five, etc. Those are measure numbers, and I'm seeing beats in between there. That is what I want right now since I'm creating a musical piece. If I wanted to check the overall time in minutes and seconds, or if I was recording a podcast, I might want to change this, and I would click on the gear, change it to time, and now you'll see up here on this line that ruler is in minutes and seconds now. Keep in mind there's another way to look at minutes and seconds, which is down here in the bottom left, and as I move my playhead, that will change. So if I want to just see how long is this four measure phrase that I have here so far, oh, I can see that it's 6.8 seconds. Or if I want to see after six measures, how many seconds is that? 10.3 seconds. So if you just need a quick minutes and seconds check, you can leave the ruler set to beats and you can always check the minutes and seconds down here if you just need to do that quickly. And that's it for this one. See you in the next one.